thank you for coming to our seminar, our uh, optimization seminar. Uh, in this occasion, uh, it's my pleasure to welcome Professor Dean from uh, the International University uh, inside the Vietnam National University in Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, this is uh, the second time he's here. Uh, two years ago, uh, both universities signed a collaboration agreement, and we are very proud to have him uh, here. Uh, Professor Dean is a specialist in optimization and also in variational analysis and have uh, several papers, a good quantity of paper. And what is more um, uh, important, uh, I could say, uh, many sites for many authors. So uh, this is a, a good proof of uh, his activity. Uh, he's also the uh, head of the Department of Mathematics uh, in his university. And uh, today he's going to talk uh, about a unified approach to robust forecast type results uh, with applications. This talk is included in uh, our doctorate program on statistics optimi optimization and applied mathematics and also in the celebration of the 10th anniversary of our institute, the Operations Research Center. So it's a pleasure to have you here and uh, we are all yours. So thank you very much. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Professor John Paul Lopez, who very kindly organized for me a talk here, and also arranged for uh, the cooperation between the two universities. But I just uh, told him that because of something, the cooperation uh, cannot be uh, active in <laughs> the years ago. Uh, but uh, today I would like to uh, give a talk with uh, the title is uh, very sorry a bit uh, different with uh, what you have. Uh, I intend to write down unified approach to robust optimization problem via in uh, functional inequality. But it, <laughs> I think that it, uh, it's rather similar to the title of our paper very much. So I changed a bit. The focus is not on robust optimization problem, but on the robust forecast time result. So it in the, the line that uh, is about uh, forecast lemma apply to, apply to optimization. So now you have op robust optimization. So we would like to try to create a lot of uh, variant kinds of uh, robust focus lemma in order to apply to robust optimization. That is the aim. And I say uh, there, is a, there is a way to approach uh, normally uh, in some papers in, in the literature, people uh, have several ways. They can investigate a robust optimization problem separately and uh, independently and get results. People, uh, other authors investigate some robust focus type result and then apply to robust optimization problem. Um, now, uh, as the title say, we would like to approach a variant uh, various kind of focus time result to apply to this, but just become something, just uh, one of the inequality, and go to several robust focus time result. Just that I want to say, unified. Instead of uh, establish robust focus lemma for linear system, instead of uh, uh, establish robust uh, focus lemma for convex system or something for infinite system, for semi-infinite system, uh, separately we make some general thing and then we apply to each case and then we get something like this and so what I, ca I call a unified approach to that one and the application means each kind of 
each kind of uh, robust focus lemma, we have a kind of a corresponding optimization problem at the corresponding time. And uh, it's okay. And uh, we <laughs> the abstract is exactly what I was telling you. We we have something we call the functional inequality involving composite function. So in the past we have some result on this. We have one uh, one inequality. For example, we have we have uh, one in inequality like this: f x plus g x plus k rel h of x greater than h of x like this for any x belong to x and this is we call the first uh, inequality the inequality related to function so we call and often call functional inequality and the problem is that we want to find out what is the characterization this is something here we call it the characterization like this and uh, okay we establish several things like this and in the past we have some actually we have uh, no it's uh, sorry I have some joint papers with uh, uh, some joint paper with uh, 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 Guy Vallée, uh, Michel Vaughan on, on, on this characterization and from this we can get uh, various kinds of uh, focal type result and now the, the problem is that you, you, this, this is one uh, optimization problem and this if I have some characterization of this and apply directly to the function for example fx equals cx like this h of x is like this in this case for example you have you have fx equal c c star x like this and h of x equal ax plus b and then kx equal i minus s of x so for example you have y here y here is like this, apply this to this one and h of x equal to zero or something and then you will, oh ok, you have x equal to uh, alpha and so if the infimum the infimum here is equal to alpha so what does it mean? it means that if x satisfies this thing then you have if this, then you have c star of x like this if x bar of yes if this infimum is alpha then you have here is a greater than alpha is that okay this is a greater than alpha but you can write down this thing this thing in the in one uh, inequality in the, in the sense that you have f x like this c star x plus uh, g x here okay here we don't have uh, we don't have the uh, the second strain. Suppose that you have x belong to c or something like this. So you can you can um, take g of x equal i c x like this. So here g is equal to zero or something. Plus, so you have here k k round h of x, and then it's greater than or equal alpha. So it's like this. If the solution is the solution is this is uh, uh, in the problem P there P1 in P1 and it is equal to F x bar like this and then you will have here is equal to F of x bar for any x of x so that is the same kind like this and if you have some any characterization of this it means that x bar is the solution of this problem 
if and only if. So you have the uh, optimality condition right away. And uh, the variant kind of the problem, like uh, you have here, you have here this. Uh, okay, uh, this kind of problem. If we apply there, we apply to this kind of problem. Here is here is the age. So if you if you put it inside, you so uh, come back back to this one. So you can have something. You can have something like f x minus h of x and plus something here greater than zero. Is that okay? And you can you can combine this thing to make it as the objective of the function. And if objective of the uh, the problem here. Yeah. And if f and h are convex, then you have you can deal with the the, the uh, possibility that the problem is the DC. The difference of convex function and under some constraint like this. So now the each up we have some we have some uh, this is also this inequality is also uh, can deal with some problem the compli uh, complicated like this P round M minus H and QI round NI like this and the 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 problem of doing like this is we have here, for example. The, the possibility of the the composite function there is a very uh, uh, we can use it in a very relaxed way. We can we can open it in a very, for example, you have here uh, h from x to z and here uh, to r plus plus infinity for something like this. And here is k. Is that okay? And now we can do something like this h we can make it into uh, this, into uh, product space. So you have here x, here is h, to z equal u multiplied by v, for example, like this. And then here is h is equal to m, n is the pair, because to the product, to the, here, is uv. And in each space, there are in each space, there are some positive code. Is that okay? And then here you have k to r plus infinity like this. But k now become p q is a pair. Is that okay? Here, p q. And in this case, you will see k round h of x now become m round p x plus and round qx. Is that okay? So if you make it here as u multiplied by v1, v2, vn, and then you, you can deal with the situation, the situation of this one. So, it's, so uh, uh, this is a problem, for example, it is uh, the missing between composite uh, function and uh, for example, you have two things to composite of two convex function, and here is a convex function. So it is DC with composite function or something like this. So very, and with uh, a lot of uh, the uh, constraint, which is missing up, uh, several times. Uh, so that uh, <laughs> this is just using this one, we can abroad this thing. And now each of the problem like this, here you have. Okay, I just say uh, I should say something. In the recent years, there are a lot of uh, many authors interested in uh, robust optimization problem. Many kinds of infinite, convex, and uh, linear, even linear, and many papers was published in very good journal 
my programming science or something. And among them, uh, the author uh, here is uh, Professor Lopez <laughs> and uh, Robana. And here is uh, especially Chakuma Lee. And, uh, there's a lot of the author there. And uh, I see, for example, what is the robust uh, optimization problem. You have the problem like this, but now we are assume that we well, suppose that we are in a situation that we are in the situation that uh, the data here a b the data the data of this problem is a b and maybe c is that right but uh, let's say we fix c so a b is not uh, uh, we, we, people don't have that uh, is a fixed data, but the data maybe uh, come from uh, uh, experiment or something. So it it, it can be uh, uncertainty it, in a set, a certainty set, in uncertainty set U, and so the problem maybe uh, is not like this, but it's like this. But vary for every A B belong to the uncertainty set. And here maybe you can have uh, some uh, set constraint, and the, but th the simplest case of this with the robust is here is changing in some set like this. In the case, if C star here, that means this one is uh, also in the uncertainty set. Then people have some for the for the linear they have some techniques to convert it into this problem bring it there into some that but so we consider this problem another thing you have uh, for example the linear programming or the infinite linear so that so uh, it is like this and uh, the um, in the in the reference the paper here professor Jayakuma Zgobena and Lopez consider it semi-infinite program robust. So it, it, is, it is like this. And uh, okay, this is a convex, uh, this is a problem, it's a general, general program, but uh, when with the uh, uncertainty set here become robust, then people make it in this form, for example. Here, here maybe i is finite, but it's also maybe i is infinite. And the other, the other thing that I can, I can think, I don't see, very sorry, until now I don't see any people working with the DC problem with a robust DC. But uh, if I change a bit the inequality there to deal with the uncertainty set, then we can have the ability certainly to deal with the situation that problem is a DC with the convex, uh, for example. But here we, we can, uh, the, the reason here I made, first of all, in a very general case, no convex at all. No uh, lower semiconductors, no convex. But when we apply to the convex, then we also have uh, some interesting thing here. And the robust, uh, of course, the robust problem corresponding to P3 is the RP3, like this. Uh, the general. <laughs> Uh, here we can say H and C, nothing at all, no condition, but in special case when you have H is uh, S convex uh, mapping, this is convex convex, and you have a DC under the convex constraint, and the, uh, the robust uh, uh, formulation of this, they become like this. And this thing, uh, because of this, uh, uh, inequality can deal with some the deterministic problem like this. Then I try to make something generation with this one with the uh, some um, uh, how to how to insert some uh, some part of uncertainties that there to get to de uh, the, some focus lemma robust focus lemma and then to deal with some uh, robust problem like this and the. Uh, here is, that's okay, there is something like this, and this is deterministic, of course you can think of the robust forms, and many more.
many more in the sense that if you if you choose that k h is the maximum or something, then it become a um, mini max problem or something. So many problems can be covered by that model. Now, uh, the the problem here, uh, the inequality that I want to uh, to generalize this one is is the one that here is instead of this one and make some the function h that we have h of u instead of one function uh, one mapping h we have h of u where u belong to an uncertainty set so it have here this the uh, we have here okay I want to write it smaller plus gx here and then plus okay this is k round h of u just like this but the problem now is what what you deal with the supremum or the minimum or something but uh, after all it is the suitable thing is the supremum of u belong to u like this what? okay I will tell you <laughs> okay K, if you if you if you come to the situation like this, U H belong to minus S. That is a convex inequality. So K equal I minus S up Y like this. So you have K round H up X is equal to I minus S up H up X like this. And this is, of course, greater than or equal zero. So if you have uh, here u h u, u belong to u. So here, here it should be, <laughs> should be the supremum. So you have you have the, like this: the system of h u belong minus s, uh, u belong to u like this. So if you want to have here u u less than for any u then you should have the supremum is less than zero so that uh, there is a supremum but I don't dare <laughs> so because of supremum it looks like it looks uh, rather strange you know that this is just the, the, the manuscript that is just, just set in uh, preparation many things have not yet uh, developed so uh, I also want to have an idea the, the commands of all of you because I, d I don't dare to call something like this is a functional inequality with uncertainty the with uncertainty maybe uh, something <laughs> you say it should be it make people think of something like this k round h fx plus gx plus u of x less than h of x like this for any u belong to u or something people think of this and this is different from that and so I don't dare to call it uh, with uncertainty or something so just call a functional a kind of a functional inequality and this with this one with the introduce, uh, introduction of the set u and the change of this uh, uh, inequality so I will show in this uh, in this talk that it will give us back a lot of uh, very unkind of um, focus lemma and I just show some of the case and then with this thing I'm um, in with this thing we can uh, make uh, we can uh, uh, study the uh, robust some some classes of robust optimization problem we get uh, optimality condition we get uh, duality result and uh, uh, we mainly have two kind of focus lemma and then they give two kind of uh, result in uh, duality Lagrange duality and function duality something like this okay uh, uh, Okay, this is the idea I tell you. So, so uh, we uh, took some uh, some notions. Uh, 
we many space here we consider our locally convex house job topological space with the uh, duo uh, topological duo x star with star s is a close uh, convex cone in z c is a subset of x not necessarily closed and the function f is proper function the duo cone s plus defined like this and with uh, in the convex uh, analysis we we define the uh, function duality is here the epigraph of the function f this is defined by this and we denote here mainly here the gamma x like this the class of all lower semi-continuous proper and convex function on x that is this uh, very so now as I tell you if we have fgx fgh is a function from x proper function from x to r like this u is a non-empty uncertainty set as u is a mapping from x to z u belong to u and uh, k is like this then you can have the uh, the composite of uh, k uh, circle h of u like this and we consider mainly the inequality too and we have to try to make some create some characterization of this that means we try to make any possible uh, equivalent uh, statement of that and uh, with the things with our u here so the result without the u uh, was the purpose there so uh, I should uh, prepare in another way but uh, very sorry this was made before coming here and uh, uh, yesterday and today uh, I got trouble with the tickets <laughs> so I go around I don't have enough time to make changing here so but anyway we consider the two set uh, set A APF star APG star and the union of this one in the past with our, with our uh, u then we, we already consider this this set but here is just h one h here and because the set u at that time is just only one one for one element so we have here the union but without this one and here also we said the set b union without u belong to u like this so that's the set we consider in the past and now with the uh, with the uh, another factor here is uh, the u is the uncertainty set so we consider a b like this and uh, it is easy to show that a including in b including in the a p up uh, the sum of this function conjugate and uh, there are examples to show that uh, okay in some case it is strictly and something like this and some case it is equal and so we set the two mainly the two qualification condition that's a equal to this the ap equal a is stronger than ap equal b yes that's okay and uh, the two qualification condition we call qca qcb and um, with these two condition we have some uh, first of all, some uh, I call characterization, uh, uh, characterization of uh, functional inequality and or we can say Fakas Lemma in general system. First one, that's QCA whole equivalent to this one. This one means that this is means that the inequality there equivalent to this. So it means that this equivalent to this one, there exists an um, x star u and lambda so that you have this inequality holes that's uh, is one uh, characterization but here is a necessary and sufficient condition for this characterization the second one we use a qca here if qca holds then the first uh, the functional inequality there 
equivalent to something here but uh, the A, the set A is separate, split up AP F star plus AP G star something and so the result here is a bit uh, more complicated, it separates that one but it's stronger. Uh, so now we, we come to the uh, we come to the some sp uh, some special case where uh, the setting is convex. Convex here, I mean F G are convex, low semi-continuous. K is also convex, and H U have uh, H U. I don't ask them uh, to be convex, but but lambda around G that H U is convex and low semi-continuous. That is uh, actually it, uh, this. This uh, assumption we call normally in the book of both they call uh, S star uh, L S C continuity or something like this. But this uh, I think this uh, this assumption can be uh, weakened by assume that uh, F P uh, F P K here F P S F P S up H U the function as the mapping as u is h epi close uh, as epi close or something like that. that's the weaken of the kind of weaken this and uh, the uh, proposition the result is a lemma is that in this case everything is this one is convex and then you have here is this one is actually is a closer of the convex hole of a and closer of convex hole of b that all the three are equal, but here you have to insert closer convex room. And in this case, of course, so of course, for example, if you assume that this one is the close and convex, and then uh, you have this one equal to this one, and so QCB satisfied. And so we have some uh, with the uh, with the set B is with the close convex, then you have this such kind of uh, forgot lemma and of course the set A is also with close and convex and then you get something similar to the previous one now I want to uh, we want to change to uh, another topic this uh, focus lemma so we see how we can get uh, uh, robust focus lemma in the case if you uh, in the case if uh, the system is this, uh, like this, and, and for the problem like this. So you see, if you let A equal to uh, this one, then you have IC plus supremum of I minus HU is equal to IA, if the A is just this. And so, the inequality at X, GX now is IC. GX is Gx here is Ic and the supremum here is this and k is i minus s this and so this one is actually equivalent to this it's reduced to this one imply this one so or you can uh, okay like this and now of course some set here is uh, the the set of A and B there reduce in this case and become this set. And uh, it's the uh, consequence of there, we also have this in this case, like this one. And the, the focus lemma, we say focus lemma 1 for general conical system, here is it. If this one equal to C, then you have something like this and in the case where everything is convex like this then you can see here this is the, 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 the equivalent between B31 and B32 we can say this equivalent is robust focus lemma for convex system involving DC function DC function here means that you have here uh, it means that F, X, F is convex, H is convex so you have here you have here at x greater than h of x, that is that means that means that at x minus h of x is greater than or equal zero, and that's uh, this is a DC function. Okay, so uh, 
And uh, another thing, if this is equal to D, that means uh, QCB, this, this, then you have something, this one, equivalent to this. In this case, we call this is a robust focus lemma for convex system involving the C function. That means the very special case when we are in the convex setting. But in the general, we didn't say anything about convex or something, then we have this result. So this is a very uh, general, it's just based on one condition that the epigraph equal to some, some set, separate of the epigraph of the function and the elements function. Okay, uh, and uh, I just want to show in this case, very special case when the function h just is a constant, then the condition is weakened a lot. That's the close co of c, the set c there, uh, intersect with just uh, the, the product space, but that's only the first part, it's just only zero. And uh, that is equal to this one, and then you get uh, some kind of uh, robust focus lemma like this. And the other thing, of course, if we replace the uh, set c by d, then you have something like this. And this is, uh, this is a robust, of course, if you have assume everything is convex, then you have here uh, uh, the uh, robust focus lemma for convex system, like this. In the past, of, of course, if we have only one edge, there is no edge U, there is no uh, this one, then it's the focus lemma for convex system, normal, this is normal. But here is the robust one, and it's just established recently in some papers of Shakuma uh, and his uh, college, and also as Professor Robin and Lopez here. We, uh, we have something in here uh, to relax a bit. Here we have the condition here is a very uh, relaxed and uh, very similar to the, our corollary, but here is also a corollary, but uh, from some other factors. So it, there is <laughs> this, this one. <coughs> if uh, x bar is some bonds from uh, the set A, A is the set, uh, A is this, uh, this set. Set of all x belong to this one, the first part here is A. So if uh, x bar is that bond, and then we have uh, the m3 equivalent to n3. So that, it means that, it means that n3 satisfied, is that right? And here we have some, some kind of the equivalent of the, the first one with the second one there, and uh, that's the uh, focus lemma. But here the condition is, is a uh, close co of d equal uh, uh, this belong to co of d so in the in the previous result you have here is d so it means that in some sense you assume that d is convex and also closed now i assume just only the closed the closeness the convex no so convex is uh, co and so the result is uh, okay it's a bit uh, uh, more complicated because it, it happens to combine up some uh, some uh, uh, what you call uh, convex combination is okay but it, it, it's uh, reasonable it's, it's, uh, this will be right to uh, a very nice uh, result in optimality condition and also duality for this kind of problem okay we for the robust focus lemma, we, uh, we consider the, uh, just only one thing there, we consider the, uh, what is it? I say, okay, we consider the, the situation of the system like this, with the f, I say h equals zero, I still write down h here, but I will write down the focus, the lemma, uh, the focus lemma without h. So that means h equals zero. And the situation is this, the, so the, in this case, the set u, we put the uh, product of the u like this, the h of u like this, for any u belong to, uh, u belong to the u is a product of this one, and u equals this one belong to u. 
and the set uh, like this A now become like this uh, the model the model without H without H here and I here is finite is the model in uh, the paper of Chakuma and Lee but of course in our um, general our situation here we can apply here to this with H and here is with uh, I is a uh, infinite set but uh, come to this scale uh, the situation if we set the set P here the set P, B there and Q here is the set A uh, there at the, at the beginning and then if we use P here we'll P and then the uh, the focus lemma now become like this if this like this then it equivalent to the S is something so that you have something like this so it is also quite nice and this one is necessary and sufficient condition for this uh, we also have something if if uh, we use instead of P we use Q here and then we have other uh, results it become like this and as I tell you we, we have a two kind of two kind of, um, of condition we have the P here let the set B and Q the set A so we have two kind of focus lemma focus lemma this one use P and focus lemma of this one use Q and the focus lemma U Q given this one and give us uh, the uh, duality for the the problem RP3 with the uh, the form of uh, we call the form of function duality and if we use uh, if we use this one we use the P and we get something like this and we come up with the uh, strong duality result of the form of Lagrange so Lagrange focus line uh, Lagrange uh, duality result okay uh, so now actually we, <laughs> we come to the uh, I just make uh, just uh, something uh, conical that means H U of X belong to S and make some uh, uh, GI X uh, less than uh, zero or something but a very just only two kind of problems so there are many kind of other we can we can do now we come to the last section is the uh, optimality and duality for robust problem we apply the uh, robust focus lemma obtained in the previous section to apply to this for example consider this problem so the set U uh, A is before and assume that of course the problem is feasible that means the set satisfy or the of X satisfy this thing um, must uh, intersection <laughs> have an empty intersection with the, dom uh, the domain of the uh, objective function f here and uh, we uh, based on the robust focus lemma we create two kind of the uh, duality problem the first kind is like a function function Lagrange actually I also have some Lagrange multiplier here so they often call function Lagrange duality and the second is actually the the uh, Lagrange the normal Lagrange uh, duality form but here the separate mum you see and uh, normally if you don't have U here so it's only like this and now you have a lot of U U uh, belong to uncertainty set so the separate mum taking with you here and here the same this is the same the supremum of this is just only this one and if you have uh, when uh, the set u is singleton that means you have only one hu here so it comes back to some uh, uh, normal form of uh, function duality that uh, many authors have in the literature the one thing I want to say here is that it is sure that when here is we use we, we uh, make this uh, application because we want to, uh, to make things easy we make here h equals zero the function h is in the right hand side equals zero if we take x, uh, h is a, a, a function for example for example everything is convex 
then we can have the infimum of fx minus h of x, x is small and then we have the duality the, for the problem of DC problem with the convection and then here maybe something with uh, plus h star or something like this so we have uh, several kinds of uh, but uh, look at that simple when the case h equals zero that means uh, that the problem here with uh, just only f here and then uh, with the two problem here then uh, okay with the weak duality we have uh, easily here but uh, the so strong duality so uh, this thing are equivalent if you have this one is for example this one in the side with this, you could see in the side with this, then the strong duality holds. Yeah. And this is equivalent. Equivalent means that this is the necessary and sufficient condition for the uh, strong fence and duality here. Yeah. We solve for the problem. Um, okay, this one, uh, if we uh, specify into many uh, special uh, cases, then we get uh, back a lot of uh, results people get before. And here is for the Lagrange uh, duality, we could also have this, but instead of the set D there, we replace by C. Then we get Lagrange duality strong. And that's also a necessary and sufficient condition for strong Lagrange duality for this kind of problem. And, uh, <laughs> and the uh, uh, the the the, the uh, robust Fagas lemma also have us to have uh, the duality at uh, the uh, optimality condition. For example, here x bar is the solution of the RP one is robust problem one. If and only if there is u, there is lambda, so that the normal condition uh, for the problem whole. But this is this is a sufficient condition and also the. Uh, the necessary condition but is also sufficient. That means if you have something like this for uh, that, then the first satisfied. Uh, now we come to uh, just uh, show you another application to another class of the problem. We want to concern this problem. Then we said things like uh, before. And then with the, the set A, B now become, we consider one of the P. So it is the set A in the previous part, the first part. So the, uh, then we have the Lagrange, uh, the Lagrange dual of the problem uh, become like this with uh, sigma lambda i, i belong to i here and here the supremum of all ui belong to ui. That is the Lagrange dual. And, uh, the uh, the strong duality for the Lagrange dual problem here that's the, the, the sub of the uh, dual problem is equal to the infimum of that and the sufficient condition is it the first one so. mm. <coughs> that uh, generalize a bit the result of Chakuma uh, and Lee And we also uh, have uh, the, uh, with just use the set P, we also have some optimality condition for this problem. Um, uh, another class is a <laughs> class of, uh, of the linear, if we apply to class of the, the robust linear, and the set Q, we let uh, the set Q like this, it, then the, uh, the dual, of this problem can be set in this form and uh, the result says there's a strong duality if you have uh, this one the, the, the this is the t4 if and only h4 so that is necessary and sufficient condition for the strong duality of the robust linear problem and uh, the optimality condition is here and this, the same, uh, the condition is, uh, the condition here is a bit weaker there because we assume here, for example, that is uh, the convex hole of this is closed or something like this. And then we get this condition, this optimal condition. Uh, uh, 
Okay, that's some, uh, some, some notes on the generalization of the result. But uh, as I told you, this is all just the, uh, the draft. It's not the complete uh, work. And so, uh, and I show here uh, some uh, simple uh, application. Of course, there's a uh, lot of things related to composite function. But when we make the composite, the function H become uh, come to the product of many space like this, then it can give uh, several other uh, results. And um, this is okay. And there is some of the. Uh, Okay, some of the, the reference. Now, I would like to have uh, comments, especially of the whole of you here about the topic. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your talk. Mm -hmm. Thank you uh, for listening. Yes. You call proposition one. Is the uh, the relation uh, in the convex case uh, the relation between the epigraph of a certain yes. conjugate function with the uh, convex and closed hull of A and B? Yes, here. Do you resolve? No, 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 this result is already published somewhere. It's a I don't know. I swear I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I don't know. Because, because... I say this in the relation. Because we proved something similar in our last draft. Yeah, that's... Okay, so maybe here it concerns some some special case and some progress. For example, you have H of A, A and Q belong to S or something, you have uh, something like that. that is because I, I, I wanted to give uh, our result, we published, uh, we proved recently, is a regular case of this. And this is why uh, I was a little bit worried. If this is published and this result covers our result, again, we, we should make some reference no, to the most more general. No, no, we publish our paper first. So <laughs> this is later. How we do it? Uh, maybe. Ah, okay. yeah. Still have some something more because uh, I should make some more in in the uh, because the uh, this thing you saw I show here it's, uh, it's, it's many things uh, well, how you call collapse just yes, coincide and uh, coincide with with the, the thing we do here so I because as I told you the the, the composite function k of around h of u can give a lot of possibility very different mm -hmm. it can be. Uh, consider the problem of minimax or something like this, and so it is very interesting. I should uh, uh, explore it in that uh, aspect, so that makes it more charming. <laughs> uh, things here. Okay. And if you if you have uh, uh, anything similar like this, please uh, remind me. Give me some paper if you have some uh, something like this. I don't. I don't see. I don't have any. Uh, material with uh, this. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand my question. You proved this result. Yes. And my question is, this result is more general than the last one proved by Okay, don't okay. worry. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. We publish our first. Otherwise we have to go out to yeah. the yeah. next step. Uh, this is my question. Something I uh, would like to remind you about the last time, that's 2013, I made a report here. And uh, with the uh, focus lemma uh, vector, a uh, vector functions, mm -hmm. and uh, two years. Uh, and now we finish. <laughs> Just it, it took more than two years until now we submit that paper, and of course some some uh, some more version with the robust uh, vector focus lemma. But it's just finished right right these days. <laughs> And this one is another thing with my friends, I uh, want my uh, students, so... Uh, any more question? Or would you want to say something about what happens when the uncertainty is in the objective? Which are the reasons all the time you are in the framework of uncertainty in the constraints? What about 
the objective. The objective. Uncertainty in the objective function instead of in the constraints. Something. What in do you think about uh, what to do? With the with the objective. When the certainty is over the objective. But I don't understand. That's you have the, 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 the objective function is fixed in your approach. Yes. And the uncertainty uh, falls on the constraints. Yes. But uh, Miguel is asking, <laughs> what happens if the uncertainty also affects to the objective function? F. Uh, so if we, we can do like this. So I Little don't, F. I don't know. You, you have to explain to me more. But I just say like this. So now I have something. I have X, and here is M. Here is M. Here, and here is uh, we have Z one, Z two. Is that okay? And this is P. R plus infinity, and here is Q. But Q is I uh, um, minus S of Y. Some some. Something like this. Is that okay? And then the sum here become like this. And the sum. Uh, now just just say uh, without the uh, supremum, then it, we can see it easily. You see like this. Uh, f x plus g x plus k rau h of x greater than h of x, like this. Then it now become f x plus g x plus uh, p n p m plus q round n x greater than h of x. And this is actually i minus s of h of x. Is that okay? So with this possibility, you can deal with the problem like this. F x plus p round m x, like this. The infimum of this one, and this is h of x, belong to minus s, and x belong to c, where you have here, the function g is i minus c x, or something like this. Then the result will be effect to the, <laughs> the evolve to the infinity. Yes. You have here, you may have here not one function n, you may have here a lot of function n. Up, the function f plus the supremum, so it's, uh, it's more complicated than minimum, uh, minimum. <laughs> you can make it into very complicated. Yes. Okay, and in the case, I don't say, in the case you have h of u like this, many things, so here is u, u here, very complicated. But you can select one thing for this one, and the u is just for, for this one. It's still okay. Thank you on behalf of Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is that the reason, the, the, does it answer your question well? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, may I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, have you considered some special structure for the uncertainty set? For example, uh, I, I was thinking. If, uh, yeah, what what you say? Uh, just a moment. There is one word I couldn't understand. You say antithetic yes. uh, or uh, that? A, a special structure for the uncertainty set. You. You. Uncertainty. Ah, the uncertainty. Yeah. Uncertainty. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was thinking. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is you is a ball, and the the for example the feasibility of the robust counterpart can be related with the distance to feasibility or distance to unfeasibility uh, of the original problem. So uh, I was looking for some connection with a quantification of the stability of a problem. Yeah, uh, that's... Uh, so can I convince you don't have bombs? This is the problem. Is it uh, 
more, much more difficult to, to work in a convexes, locally convexes spaces than the balanced yeah. spaces. Or? Okay, I could say uh, I could say like this. I'm not an expert on robust optimization. <laughs> I just <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> this work are just the, the initial work. With, uh, okay, the first one is uh, we work with the robust uh, there uh, for vector uh, focus function with uh, Professor Mark uh, Gobena and Lopez here and we just enter that thing. So uh, in some sense I read, uh, just read what is robust optimization and uh, the robust focus lemma have not yet been uh, defined but in some papers there they, they have some, some version of that. And so we call, okay, robust focus lemma, that is, is okay. And we just enter the area and, uh, uh, okay, make some first uh, publication, <laughs> first draft. And so we, we are concerning, at the moment, a very general problem. We have not yet uh, made uh, concrete uh, problem for robust optimization. Uh, I think that there are two kinds of attitudes, extreme attitudes. One attitude of certain mathematicians is just to go uh, from certain level down yeah. to concrete things. Yes. Our attitude, I think, is the opposite. Or for concrete things, <laughs> <to general. laughs> yeah. because so. before fixing the uncertainty sets and giving some form balls and things like that, yeah. we are extending all this stuff in, in very with the uh, functions f and, and h are uh, <coughs> vector are valid in, in another locally convex space, uh -huh. and we have set an order. We cannot talk about greater or equal. Very we general. Can, uh, very yeah. general. Yeah. Yeah. Including what the objective as a particular case, of course. One of the things I recognize here is in several other papers with the robust uh, uh, uncertainty set uh, there, they often have some, they make some uh, assumption on the, the set U, the uncertainty oh, set. Yeah. It should be closed, convex or something. But with this kind of approach, we, we don't see anywhere we need that. That is just a, 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 like an index set. So that is uh, one of the one of the, the, the things. So what is very uh, uh, priority, <laughs> very uh, very good sense in in this approach. That's That's okay. So more questions. So thank you again. For your time. Okay. Thanks for listening.